I heard you on another interview uh, mention a few ways that someone can kind of detect. Uh, so <laughs> detect if they have high insulin. Now, if you have one mm-hmm. of these medical conditions like high blood pressure or polycystic ovary syndrome, then there's a pretty good chance you have high insulin. So that's yes. one thing. But what are some like practical ways that somebody can maybe tell just by looking at their own health or their own body if they right, have right. high insulin? Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's a great question. I'm, I'm glad for the chance to, that you're bringing this up. Uh, one way is to look at the skin. Uh, I like to joke that the skin is the window to the metabolic soul. And there are two very almost just rock solid things people can look for that would be proof of insulin resistance. And they can both happen right around the neck. So these can be pretty obvious. Alternatively, they can happen around the armpits or in the groin, not quite as obvious. Um, But the signs are the same regardless. One is this condition called acanthosis nigricans, which are large. These are not small, subtle things. They're not like my freckles, for example, teeny little marks. They're large kind of swaths of dark um, kind of velvety rough, well, that altered texture of the skin. It's not the typical smooth texture. It has an altered texture and it will be patchy. It'll kind of go along the skin and, and even be a little kind of crinkled, wrinkled. Um, at the same time, in the same place, a person can experience skin tags. And that's these little, uh, it's these almost little like columns or, or pillars of skin just growing straight up like a little mushroom. It's not like a little hill, like a mole might be. It's And it's not even discolored. It's generally the same pigment of whatever the skin color is, but it's these little projections, these little stalks or columns of skin. They're both um, very strong evidence of insulin resistance, how insulin is altering the skin cells. Um, and thankfully, they're all very reversible as insulin resistance is uh, improved. Okay. So in addition to like the medical conditions you might discover through other means, uh, like the blood pressure that's high, um, then there's some skin things. So the the skin tags, which are like the mushroomy mm-hmm. things that grow off, mm-hmm. and then the dark, rough areas as well in some cases. That's right. 